Hi again. After we explained basic topics about energy and how it transfers from the exterior to the building, and after we also like talked about the climate and the geographical location of a building, now the next most important uh, factor that we should consider while uh, designing an energy efficient building. One of the most effective ways to achieve the the goal of like energy efficiency is a proper form design. So when I say form design, it refers to the shape, to the orientation and the layout of uh, your design, of your building. So in this lesson, we will uh, explore like the ways in which form design can significantly impact the, the building's energy efficiency. And we will discuss the key principle that we should consider in designing energy efficient buildings. Believe me when I say even just small changes with the design like or the form, the shape of the building can drastically minimize the energy consumption in this building. For example, a building with a compact and like simple design will have a smaller surface area than a, a complex uh, a geometry or, or a complex building. And this smaller area means less exchange or like heat exchange with the exterior elements like wind and sunlight and like the exterior temperature this way as we mentioned earlier when we limit this heat exchange uh, between the interior and the exterior then we will not uh, lose much energy about the heating and cooling inside and this way we will uh, reduce our energy consumption so basically this is the main idea of this uh, chapter so how we can achieve such a goal? So by keeping in mind, our main objective is keeping the surface area as uh, less as we can. Uh, how we can design like good form shape buildings? According to the work of uh, Professor Arendt, I'm going to give you this uh, example. While designing a building form, we need to control uh, this ratio and make it as low as possible. The ratio is actually the area of the exterior surface divided by the building volume. So if we calculate the sum of the areas of all the surfaces that are in contact with the outdoor air and divided by the, the form volume or the building volume, we can obtain or we, we can have an idea about is this form design is like feasible or not. So I'm going to give an example of these two um, form design and uh, based on the previous equation, we are going to deduce or predict which one is like more efficient in terms of uh, energy savings. Both uh, the two forms that are used in the example uh, have six of the same units. So uh, assuming the units uh, width and length to be like 10 meters and the height to be like three meters, uh, then if we check the form on the left, uh, the area on the volume ratio uh, would be uh, 740 divided by 1800, while the, the same ratio of the form on the right will be like 1100 divided by 1800. By comparing the results, we can see that the form on the left has a smaller ratio and it means that it is more suitable uh, in terms of heat preservation. This article also shows the, the result of the analysis and uh, different simulations of uh, like different forms uh, in uh, three different climate zones. Like, uh, so like the same form has been analyzed under hot, humid and uh, cold temperature. And a number of uh, correlations and calculations have been uh, developed to, uh, to check which one of these forms behaves better on, uh, on each uh, climate zone. And we can see like it shows as a result the, the building morphology, the form design is like a very important design uh, parameter uh, in the process of uh, finding an uh, energy efficient building.